What is happening everybody, Matt Maid here, and I've gotten a key for a game called Lightfield Hyper Edition. I wanted to get my thoughts, my impressions, and do a review on the game. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Lightfield Hyper Edition is a racing game that was developed and published by Lost in the Garden. It was released on July 31st of this year on Steam. Lightfield is an interesting racer. It gives you the freedom of a flight sim, however, you, to get any sort of speed, you'll need to snap to a surface. This allows you to speed up and to get around obstacles, as well as to do tricks to earn boosts when you do tricks off of a ledge. There is no story per se, but there are modes for standard races, time trials, tricks, and a mode where you have to gather as many stars as possible before the time runs out. Each mode showcases the game's mechanics and teaches you more of what to do and how to play. The game's controls are tight and responsive. In my playthrough, I used controller since there are a few different buttons that need to be held and it's easier to guide with a controller instead of a mouse. However, the controls still do take a bit of getting used to. Aside from being able to move in three dimensions, you can also snap to a surface to go faster and jump off surfaces for speed boosts and tricks. I did find the flying to be a bit disorienting and I found myself at times losing where the track actually was since there are no rails to speak of. However, after playing for a bit and becoming familiar with the tracks, I was able to have a sense of where to go. This is a huge hurdle to overcome and it can be really frustrating when just starting the game. The soundtrack of the game is forgettable at best. There weren't any tracks that just jumped out at me or made me feel like I was racing along and trying to be as fast as possible. All the music was just kind of there and a bit generic sounding. If the gameplay were to be compared to Steak, then the soundtrack of this game would be just like a side salad. You know you need it but it's not what you really want. While it doesn't take anything away from the experience, I feel that if they put more effort into the soundtrack, then they could have made the entire game a lot more impactful. The visuals in Lightfield are really nice. It's not groundbreaking by any means. However, they give you a great sense of speed and movement when you're bouncing around and going into tight turns. The way the speed is portrayed is great and you won't miss a beat or see any hiccups while playing. Unfortunately, the ships are generic and you can only change their colors, on top of which there aren't really any stats for the ship. You must rely on your skill and your knowledge of the track in order to come out on top. While this isn't a terrible thing, adding more ships and giving the ships different stats give the game replayability and diversity. Instead, in the campaign and in all solo modes, your ship is the only one that has color. The rest are just gray and feel lifeless. The old multiplayer is also weighing the game down in my opinion. While you can do local versus and race against others in person, when you try to go online you'll find it hard or nearly impossible to get a match. At the time of writing, I was unable to get an online match even after waiting 10-15 minutes. This could be due to the game not having a massive player base or it just being released you know, a week or two ago. However, having a huge part of the game simply not be playable since there aren't many people is a bit aggravating. The menu in this game is also a bit confusing and a bit convoluted. When you jump into the game in order to navigate from a campaign to say a time trial to change your ship's color or view the controls, it's all in the start menu. So you'll find yourself when you want to go from a campaign to a multiplayer you'll jump into the start menu and be having to click around and find out where everything is. There's no standard, hey, back out to go to multiplayer from the main menu, or hey, this is tab is for multiplayer, this tab is for this. You have to scroll down to find something, which I found a bit odd. Overall, Lightfield is a unique and interesting racer that is really marred by a sense of genericness. From the ships to the music, the game could use some improvement. And while I did enjoy this game and the mechanics and physics feel great, its positives are being just drowned out by its presentation. With that being said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. Have you played it from the gameplay on the screen? Are you interested in it? What are your thoughts on it? And don't forget, if you like weekly reviews and daily Let's Plays, consider striking that subscribe button. This is Matt Maid, and I will see you guys next week.